Hello, Georgie B here. Today I'd like to show you this card. This card is actually for my one of my card pals. Um, I'm going to make another one, obviously, for the other card pal. And this month's colour is orange. So I've made him this card. Now this card has a little bit of a difference. The butterfly is a frig fridge magnet. And as you can see, there's a magnet inside that this attached to. It doesn't come off. It stays on. So yes, yeah, so they've only got not only got the card, but they've got a little fridge magnet. Um also when I made this I thought mm, I could make other ones. So I have. Anything I've got a die to go with, I made some fridge magnets. I haven't got a die with them, I just cut them out. Same with that. So I've cut and made all these little fridge magnets. I also made um, my great grandsons their names in Bentley, Jordan and Elijah and my sister's granddaughter her name and they can go on the fridge so yes I was having a little fun this week making fridge magnets so today we're going to make this now I have made the magnet already to go on the other card because you have to wait for the glossy accents to dry before you can stick the magnet on and this magnet goes inside the card that goes on there like that to make these I just got a sheet what I use for my dies of magnet and I stuck double sided tape I've got a big big reel on the back of it and cut my dies out. Now I did waste a whole sheet of this because when I cut my dies I cut them that way which meant they would have been back to front because you couldn't stick the die uh, the magnet sheet onto the die so you have to stick them that cut them out that way put your die on and cut them out that way so don't make my mistake so let's get started with this I also did what else was I going to show you something to do with the butterflies I'll show you another time of that right um card stop. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. Folded in half. I've got a piece of vellum. Um, this is new for this year. It's the in colour vellum and this is called pale papaya and that's going to go on there. Shiny side. We've got a shiny side and a matte side. We're going to have the shiny side up. I've also got a piece, oh this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I've also got a piece of white card at five and a half by three and three quarters and I've also cut out using number three, the smallest being number one, from the celebration label dies I cut that out and then the butterflies will sit in the middle now to decorate the vellum and this oh I've got scrap for the sentiment I used a die a uh, what do you call it? Mask to decorate the inside of the aperture. 
So that's what I'm going to do with a brush and cinnamon cider. I'm going to use that because this shows up better. And I'm just going just outside the middle. on it have a nice little pattern in the middle so don't need that no more now this with what's left on my brush I just went over edges and it picked up the embossed bits really nice it just makes it stand out a little bit more do next is bring our card base in and get our magnet and take the backing off And place this, put that on properly, and we're going to place this in the middle. of our card so it can receive this. Now you can't put card on top, vellum it's fine, it'll hold with vellum. But it won't hold if you put card. It's not strong enough. But vellum it's alright. So now I'm gonna glue this onto the vellum. And now I can glue the vellum onto the card base because you won't see the glue under the card base. that stays on there doesn't come off until you pull it off right the sentiment I put a little hello from me to you is off the pansy patch now I had to get a new pansy patch set because um, 
my one of the first stamps that I got wouldn't stamp the top of From Me To You. Don't matter what I did, it wouldn't stamp it out. So I found them up and I told them about it. And they sent me a new set and a Uh, postage label to send the old one back and that stamps a lot better than what the other one did it was missing like the whole top of their me to you it just wouldn't stamp it out this away since it's only one stamp I used bring in my mini trimmer because we're going to rather than me cut it school with we're going to cut it on the trimmer but what I want to do is take a little bit off the bottom. Right, that has gone. I'm going to stamp it again. Oh. I was having this trouble the other day. No matter what I stamped or how I stamped it, it just would not come out right. Right. Didn't think so. That's all right. Don't need to cut any off the bottom on this one. Just some off the top. And some off the side. Right. Now then, put our butterfly back on. Right, so that they can get the butterfly off, Sam or Moira, I am just sticking it sitting it on there but I'm going to put dimensionals on that bit I'm just putting th two or three I'm going to put three There we have it. And that oh but that but it's not. What I've decided to do, if they move the take the butterfly off, that's the end of the card. So what I've done is stamped out two more um butterflies and I'm just going to colour them in. Quickly. So 
Sorry if you hear my husband snoring in the background. He decided to get up early this morning. I thought that if once I take the butterfly off, if I give him a butterfly pin inside the card, just sitting there free, they could stick it back on once they remove the magnet. Let's go a different yet. Oh, I can smell the alcohol in this one. It's because I never use this one. What's this? Dark, so soft one. the yellow. Put some of this darker on it. It's one thing with a butterfly, you don't need to be precise for your colouring because you do it different colours. Right, I've got some, what have I got orange for? don't know. I've got some light real red and all I'm doing with this is just a bit out of the body and then I've got some cinnamon cider and I'm going to colour up these dark bits Getting these bits here. And for all that. Mm, do the same this side. Obviously, if you don't want to see this, you can either skip the video or fast forward it. I'm sure, you all know how to cover a butterfly in now. And then I added 
orange. Oh, no, wrong colour. That makes any difference. And then I went over it all again, blending in this red, but I did go over it all again in the yellow. This is, I keep just saying orange, and this is light crayon craze. More of a brown than an orange. Over this one with the yellow. So I don't know where it went and then with my gel pen I just did some white lines on the body of the butterfly just for something different And then they can go in place of them. What I will do though is add some double sided tape ready for them. Just pop them inside the card or the envelope with a little note to tell them what to do with them. So there are my cards from my car pals. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see another see more of my videos please subscribe um, I usually post Mondays Wednesday and Friday and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday oh yeah Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon and that's not straight I'm gonna sort that out